Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are covering the C++ ternary operator. This is an overview for you that are coming from blueprints, that are familiar with branches and blueprints and if-else statements in C++, but have never seen or used the ternary operator in C++. So let's get started. So coming from blueprints, you might have seen something like this where we have a Boolean value, let's say, which has the state if is it's a name or if it's a text. And we compare it somewhere in our logic. And if it's a name, then we are converting the name to the string. And if it's not a name, then we are converting it to the text to the string. A simple example that shows, okay, an if else statement that it would be in C++, but this could be done a lot more cleaner or readable than using an if-else statement. So let's head over to C++ and have a look at it. So in the code from last video where we converted strings to text and F names, we can do something similar in C++ now, like in the blueprints you've seen. So we define a bool is name equals true, for example, and then we define our, let's say, test string two, and go if is name, then we would do something like test string two equals test name dot string, or else we would do it like this. So this would be the same as this example here. But using the ternary operator, this would be a lot easier to read and more cleaner. So what is the ternary operator? So the ternary operator kind of like works like this. We have like a Boolean expression or a Boolean variable. Then we use the question mark. And in case it's true, then we would do some functionality for this case and use a colon for the false version. So how would this work? Let's say like this, we say test string two equals, and then we have our Boolean expression. We say is name, then we use the question mark, copy this, then say test name two string. And if not, then we use the text to a string. And you can see we have these lines of code with an if else statement and using the ternary operator, we just have this one line and it's a lot easier to read. So if is name is true, then do the test name to a string. If it's false, then do the test text to a string. And that's it. That's a short introduction to the ternary operator. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.